All right, guys. Well, here's my uh, big reveal. Uh, there's still some work to be done, but... Here's where I'm at. It's all made out of CPVC, uh, 5 sixteenths. And there it is. I gotta do some work in the back still. As you see, there's some raw sides there. But most of the compartments have storage underneath or on the side, like, you know, I've got my brad nailer here, or my 18 gauge uh, brad nailer, and, you know, keep the brads right there. For instance, here's my multi-tool. Yes, you could store them with the blade backwards, but if you lift that up, you'll see I got some holes down there. Lifts up, and there's a storage compartment down there for all my extra blades. See if I get that back in there, one-handed. Uh, and, you know, that's going to be the same for most of the tools that are lifted up high, like my hammer drill. You know, again, storage compartments underneath. Put all my uh, masonry bits under there. Get that back in. Again, doing it one-handed. Uh, let's see. My SDS Plus and... Once again, I'll have all my bits under there. I just haven't put it all together. But, yeah, there you go. That's uh, pretty much done. Not complete yet, but just about there. Trying out some storage. But, yep. There you go. Uh... I spent quite a while on it, about uh, four or five days. I had some off time, so I was able to, you know, spend some time playing around with this thing because I'm tired of my tools rattling and shaking all over the place and getting damaged. And let's see, cellular PVC. I probably spent about 300 bucks altogether for everything here. That includes uh, the glue and all the CPVC boards. I used uh, uh, 5 16 by 6 inch exterior trim, 8 foot long sticks. And uh, I'm guessing I used about 8 of them, more or less. Yeah, I think about 8. So, well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be doing some more pretty cool DeWall projects in the future. All right, peace out, guys.